What's up everyone, it's Farhan. Welcome to another video. This is a quick tutorial for beginners on how to shoot panos from the Mavic 3. And I'll also be going over how to merge them in Lightroom and the advantages of shooting them in RAW. Now, in order to access the pano feature, you need to hit the icon above the shutter icon and then go down to panos and then choose the type of pano you want to shoot. Vertical, 180 degrees. Once you select the pano that you want, adjust your settings for your exposure and then hit start the drone will move and shoot the panos itself now the drone also creates a jpeg version but i suggest you don't use that version but it's just something for you to like look at and see what your panel could look like i highly suggest merging them in post and editing them yourself using the raw images and once i shoot my panels and I export them from the SD card to my computer. I import them to Lightroom. Now on your SD card, there's a separate folder called Panoramas and all your panels will be stored over there in separate folders. So you import those folders onto your computer and then import them to Lightroom. Once you're in Lightroom, select all the individual photos and choose Photo Merge Panel. Now over here, you've got three options of spherical, cylindrical, and perspective. Now for vertical panels, I usually choose the perspective one, but for the wide angle 180 degree panels, I usually either go between spherical or cylindrical. It's totally your call. And then you have more options over here for auto crop, uh, fill the edges, and boundary warp. You play around with those settings, see which one works best for you. Once you're okay with all the options, hit merge. Right after the merge is done, you'll see the photo, the panel photo appear, and then you can begin editing them. Now, I prefer editing my photos on the iPad Pro. It's so much fun to edit there. So I just export the RAW or DNG panel file photo to my iPad, and then I edit it on Lightroom there. Once I'm done editing my photo, it's ready to export. Now, I also made quick examples of the JPEG version that is created from the Mavic 3 and compared to the edited version, the raw edited photo. And then I also compare, I also copy the same settings that I used for the manually, uh, manually merged panel to the JPEG panel created from the Mavic 3. And I put the comparisons right next to each other for you to have a better look at and understand why you should shoot them in raw and edit them yourself so you have so much more flexibility to edit them and make them look the way you want to look to your style to you with the way you want to look in post shooting panels are really easy and super fun and you just get so much more in a photo and it also really helps with those nice instagram carousels where you just keep swiping and you see more of the photo that's usually why i shoot panel photos it just gets so much more in one photo if you found any value in this video do hit the like button and also subscribe as it helps out this video and this channel thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one